If you've heeded our encouragement to make note of your learning experiences, your aha moment, your oh darn moments, and other insights you've gained as you created, communicated, and collaborated, and facilitate learning online in this course, then you should have built up a wealth of reflections that you can draw upon as you consolidate and share your reflections. The reflective practice is a fundamental component of assessment for learning and personal and professional development. The transformational learning researcher Jack Musero would argue that you haven't really fully learned something until you tell someone else about it. We want you to deepen your learning experience in this course and tell someone else about your learning experience through either a three-minute pay it for it video, a 10-minute exit interview with your instructor, or through a written reflection. The reason we are giving you these options is that we want to model flexibility and also model the importance of giving our learners full ownership and control over reflecting on their learning. We want to enable and empower you to not only find your voice, but to use your voice to encourage others. The continual enrollment design of this course means that participants who have just started their 3320 journey will be communicating and collaborating with participants who are at the middle or near the end of their learning journeys. What you share can have a direct impact with others who will come after you. So while the reflection is about your personal learning experiences, you also have to factor in how the collaborative experiences in 3320 have impacted your learning and also take into account how you can pay it forward. While we will be providing you some guidance on what, at minimum, you should address in your reflections, we really encourage you to experiment and explore what worked and what you can do better and what you may want to do next. If you're leaning towards the exit interview or the written reflection, then we will ask you to use the four questions of the ORID model, which we regularly use in the PID program as a framework for your written reflections. Don't worry, we will be providing you more details and technical specifications in the reflection of learning document description um, in this module. If you're considering the three minute pay it forward video, we will be asking those who have exemplary work to give us permission to share these videos with new students coming into the program, hence the name Pay It Forward. Regardless of which reflection on learning format you choose, we know that this consolidation or aggregation of your thoughts on your learning experience will benefit you and many others. So we encourage you to embrace this opportunity and to go deeper into your thoughts on learning than you may have gone before.